So I got some new stuff. And as you know, I'm an avid fan of vintage Halloween cassette tapes, CDs, what have you. Vintage Halloween music and sound effects. And I've been collecting all of the old physical media that I used to own as a kid, such as like um, the Chamber of Horrors cassette, Sounds of Halloween cassette, stuff like that. And today, I got a new one in the mail. Let's check it out. Opening the box now. Okay, here we go. Slice. Things are like getting into Fort Knox sometimes. There it is. Spooky sounds of the night. When's the last time you saw that cassette tape? Yeah. I don't think I ever bought this tape as a kid. Like the other ones that I do own. But I remember seeing this in stores all the time. I think it was in Eckerd's a lot. I'm pretty sure it was probably in Publix. I think Publix carried this one at one point. Um, but yeah. Spooky sounds of the night. Is that not devastating? I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with all these physical copies of these cassette tapes. I don't want to open them up. I want to leave them in their packaging. Maybe I'll frame them in like a shadow box and put them up on the wall. But yeah. I thought about opening them up and transferring them, you know, to, like, to digital and then putting them back in their packaging, but that would just destroy the packaging. So I don't really, I'll, maybe I'll buy two copies in the future of every single one. But uh, yeah, spooky sounds of the night. How awesome is that? Buy rubies, actually, no less. Rubies, I didn't know rubies made these. Weird, weird. 1992. Talk about an acid flashback. <laughs> 